Hello guys and let's just do our first steps uh, in our project. So we need to start a fresh front end app, a Max.js app, then install the Vutify and prepare login and sign up page, basically the HTML things. Uh, let's just get started. The command for um, yeah, command for starting the Max.js Max.js app is npm init max app a front end. I'll just just press enter. Uh, it's yeah, the project name is front end. We are going to use a JavaScript. We are going to npm, and uh, as a package manager, we are not going to use any of these UI frameworks. We do need this Axios. I'm not going to bother with a linting tool because we are giving a bunch of errors, and it will waste our time. Um, we should do, but uh, in this uh, video series, we are not going to write any of the tests. And uh, the rendering mode is just universal. The deployment target is uh, the server. If you use VS Code, uh, the gsconfig.json file is extremely useful. The GitHub username and the version control is the git. It should uh, install, uh, yeah, it should install the, mm, the our project uh, in a moment. Let's just wait a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are still waiting. Nice. Uh, besides this, let's just quickly look at the Vutify uh, documentation. So in order to install the uh, Vutify in Max.js, we need to use this npm install Max.js Vutify command and then add the setting inside the build uh, modules where uh, yeah, it, it's in basically it's in the max config.js file. Um, let's see quickly. Right, it's installed, and if you go to the front end and run this npm run dev, um, yeah, it's starting. Listening on port three thousand, uh, it's building this client and server. Let's just wait a bit. Yeah, I completed and. Let's see. Yeah, voila. So this is our uh, boilerplate, actually, the code where, uh, which is provided by the Next.js. And I'm going to uh, cancel it, uh, open up this um, Visual Studio code. And yeah, we'll just open this Next.js config and zoom in. Yeah, right. It should be enough, I assume. Right, open up the terminal. I'm using the fish. If you haven't this thing, you don't need. Um, there's a build modules. And let's just open up this documentation again. I'm going to grab this command and um, pass it here. And then, of course, grab this setting thing and pass in press build modules nice and uh, the extra thing is let's just quickly check if there is no error or some wrong thing here mm, nothing happens uh, it should work uh, the remaining thing is uh, the building uh, preparing the sign up and uh, the login page so in the next years it's pretty easy to build these routes, this slash login and slash uh, sign up things. Uh, I'm going to create the login folder and do the same thing for sign up. And inside this login, uh, if you create this index view, and if you create this index view inside the sign up page, and let's just boilerplate uh, our code and um, I don't know if hello, uh, this is a login page. Uh, no. Oh, um, let's just each one, this one. Um, yeah. It should work now. Yeah. And if you go to um, a slash login, 
as you see, when you create a folder, a login, and inside this uh, login folder index view file, it should do the trick. So we have sl this slash login, and we uh, need to have this sign up as well. So let's do like this is a sign up sign up page. Nice, nice and clean. So if you go to sign up, sign up. This is a sign-up page, so we have this road enabled. Uh, now we need to build some HTML forms and we are going to use Vue5. Basically, I have grabbed this code from this link as a login form and we're just going to uh, edit this to be uh, the sign-up page as well. So let's just do, 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 let's just do this thing. I'm going to exit from this page and uh, open up this index view login just and grab this login code from my uh, from my another screen let's just do this here so basically we have this email thing and uh, this is a login form and uh, um, let's just yeah, save and see if if it works. So login, nice. So we have email and this password thing. Uh, basically, we need to do the same thing with uh, the sign up form. And I'm going to grab this sign up form and do do it here. So what we have changed here is I'm I have added the extra two fields uh, if in order to ask the first name and the last name uh, for our uh, from our user so if you go to the sign up page as you see the first name last name email password and everything is clean here uh, uh, the next step is to build the handlers uh, when we Mm, when we uh, type here as uh, our first name, last name, and email and password, and push the sign up button, it should do something. Uh, for our case, for simplicity, we are going to the console log. So, this is going to happen in the next video. So, see you in the next video.